Welcome to UBC Library Tutorials, Data Analysis, T-Test, Parametric and Non-Parametric. T-Test is used when you're confronting a continuous variable with a categorical variable of two levels. In this example, I want to know is there any significant association between age and marital status. My continuous variable is age, unit year, and my categorical variable is marital status with two levels of no or yes, which is categorized or coded as 0 and 1. So if you go to the file demo sav, your data view, age, and marital status, these are the two variables that I want to confront. As you can see, the marital status has code 0 and 1. So we go to Analyze, Compare Means, Independent Sample T-Test. Select your age, push it to the test variable. Select the marital status, push it to grouping variable. And you need to define the groups. What are the codes that you have chosen for these two levels, 0 and 1? Continue. Click on option, you can change the confidence interval level from 95% to 90%. I don't do that now. Continue and OK. And here you get a couple of tables where you can see the mean and standard deviation and number of samples within each categories. And also your Levin's test of homogeneity. If this value is significant, then you cannot go ahead and read the result of this test. In this case, this value is non-significant, so that means there is a homogeneity between the variances of our two samples, those within unmarried and those with married groups. And so therefore, we can go ahead and read the result of te this test. Let's imagine that this value is significant. In this case, we need to resource to non-parametric tests. How to do non-parametric t-test? We go to Analyze, Non-Parametric, and we will select two independent samples. We'll repeat the same process, defining different categories. And here you can see the man with knee test is already selected, but there are other non-parametric tests that you can use. You click OK, and this time, you will get a ranking with the significant level, which is this p-value here, 0.765, which is a non-significant level. So this tutorial told you that how you can do a student t-test, either parametric or non-parametric tests. For more information, please contact researchcommons at ubc.ca or use the following sources. Thank you.